This is module one, lesson 12. Today's objective was to interpret the quotient as the number of groups or the number of objects in each group using units of two. Number four, Betsy pours 16 cups of water to equally fill two bottles. How many cups of water are in each bottle? Label the tape diagram to represent the problem, including the unknown. I see that Betsy has 16 cups. That is my total, so I'm going to label that first. She takes those 16 cups and put them into two bottles. We can see here are the two bottles, which are my groups, so I will also label two bottles. I'm missing the size, which is what will go up on the top. So I'm going to divide up 16 into two groups until I cannot divide them anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There are my two groups. When I look at the groups, I see I have eight, and I was dividing up cups. So I have eight cups. There are eight cups of water in each bottle. The division problem I solved was the total of 16 divided into two equal groups gave me eight in each group. Number five, an earthworm tunnels two centimeters into the ground each day. The earthworm tunnels at about the same pace every day. How many days will it take the earthworm to tunnel 14 centimeters? I want to find a total of 14 centimeters. The earthworm is tunneling that two centimeters each day. I'm going to draw a tape diagram to help me solve that. So I have a total of 14 centimeters. In one day, the earthworm can tunnel two centimeters. I need to continue counting by twos until I get to 14. So I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Then I look back and I see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups, which are the days it would take him to tunnel 14 centimeters. So that is seven days. I solved the total of 14 divided into two in each group, which equal the total of seven. Try number six on your own taking $16 in total and dividing that $16 between two boys. 